Holy cow. Well, that's easy. What are you doing? I was reading. Well, holy cow, we need to do something. We need to talk to the kids. Oh, I can't right now. Well, why not? Well, I was busy reading. What are you reading? How to make a pinata. You're reading how to make, let, let me see this. Look, how to make a pinata and share Jesus. Uh-huh, because I want everybody to know about Jesus and have some fun too. Well, that sounds very interesting. So how do you, what's it say to make a pinata? Well, it says I need a balloon. Uh-huh. And how are you going to fill that up? Oh, I've got a good friend named Tevin. Hmm. Sounds like my name. Uh-huh. And what else? We need some strips of taper. And we need some glue. And then we need a whole bunch of candy. Oh, well, candy. Uh -huh. Can we go to Walmart? Why do we need to go to Walmart? Get the candy and get my tail fixed. Your tail fixed? What's wrong with your tail? He's gone. Why are we going to re to Walmart then? They're the leading retailer. See, that's a cow joke. I was a cow, and that was a joke. <sighs> anyway, okay. So, so we are going to fill the penny out. What are we going to fill it with? Candy. Why? Because then at the tardy, you like it, and the candy goes to flying. Well, and then what? Everybody jumps in and grabs candy until they can't feel their pockets anymore. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun at a party. They sure is. But what if somebody didn't fill the pinata with candy? What if they filled it with garbage? Oh, that's a nasty. And then the garbage go flying. You look funny with a banana on your head. I don't think I want a banana on my head. That wouldn't be a good idea. But... What comes out of pinata is only what we put in the pinata, right? Uh-huh. But what about you and me? What happens if you get hit with the stick like the pinata? Oh, nothing to stuff in the flat of me. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be good. And if I got hit, would love or something yucky come out? Oh, I hope we'd love you love, because she's good at that. Well, I try really hard, but the only way to have love come out of me is to have love in me. You know, you like the love of Jesus? Yes, the love of Jesus is exactly what I need. Because Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Oh, hey, uh, what that other nurse you used to tell me about? Oh, you mean Proverbs 3, 3, where it says, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Uh-huh, I good news. You better use a good marker to write the love on your heart. Yes, we do. And we need to let love and faithfulness never leave us. And the only way to keep filling up with love is to keep falling in love with Jesus. Because God is love. That's true. And Jesus said, by this, all men will know you're my disciples if you love one another. That's right. Hey, if you hit a tinata, you better dust your teeth. We need to brush our teeth. Oh, that candy gives you something to brush your teeth about. Well, that's right. So, holy cow, it's that time. Time for you to say goodbye, holy cow. Goodbye, holy cow. You all take care and dust your hair and dress your teeth. You all got to dress the ones you want to keep. That's right. And this is Pastor Kevin saying bye-bye.